So hi everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. At this moment, I would like to thank you once again for being so continuously supportive. I really appreciate everybody that do watch my videos, those that are actually liking the videos, and uh, I also appreciate for more and more. But today I just thought I saw something on the socials. Hey, I saw something. On, I saw something on TikTok, and I want to just warn people out there: scammers are so much at work. Scammers are at work to the point where, like, they target these young women, they target these young ladies, and these people are not aware that they are being scammed. So what happened is that this lady, um, it's a young beautiful lady, she actually got a message from a guy on social media. So and this guy claims to be a white uh, rich guy living somewhere in the UK or somewhere and then he he told the lady he promised the lady that he's going to be I think the yeah he made this relationship um point fell in love through the communication they are they are having on the social media. And then he promised that he's going to send the lady a present from the country wherever he is from the UK to a certain country in Africa. And this is a syndicate that these cameras have been using. I don't know why. I would say probably this lady, probably she's new on the internet and so on, that she did not, she's only discovering this now. And she's still up to the point, doesn't believe that she's about to get scammed. So this is how these people operate. They do like this. They'll communicate with you, say, hi, I would like to yeah, meet you. I'm looking for an African wife. I would like to marry. I'm rich. I lost my wife a few months ago and so on. Yeah, they have a lot of uh, many things that they are going to tell you. They are going to <coughs> actually until you believe. And then they come to a point where they'll be like, yeah, I love you and I want to buy you an iPad. Or I want to buy you an iPhone something. So I want to send you a present. Can you please send me your full address? And then you give your full name and your full address. <coughs> That's still okay, no? You give your full name and your full address to this person. And then at some point, he go ahead fill in a webel paper and uh he will pack he will he will they have a they have a picture that they use in most to scare most people so they have they, he's gonna have a certain alleged picked person i think at some point they use their own phone they take a picture of this phone and this is what i'm sending you take a picture of an ipad somewhere or a, a macbook somewhere and then they have a picture of this stack of money that's that's um they claim that it's in their in their currency it's mostly in mainly in uh pounds so this girl will be like i'm gonna put this uh stack of cash in the parcel um and when it comes to your country you can buy this and that and that but this is a lie if somebody is about to send you guys money why doesn't he just um wire the money into your account or there's many methods of sending money from um countries abroad why doesn't they use western union why don't they use money gram and so on so yeah <clears throat> this is what they do and then you take pictures of a person that person is really filled in with your name address and everything else from who it's coming from yeah and then he'd send the picture that this pack this package this is how your person looks like so and then at some point after a few days you'll get a call from a south african number plus two seven something <clears throat> that phone if, if you listen attentively you will realize that 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 voice is um is an ai generated voice like it's an ai voice it's not like a legit voice we know how real how legit voices sound like like real people sound like we know how at some point that voice will be in reality it's a man's voice that's 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 like that's, that's put through a certain um filters and then it becomes it appears to be of a woman because people believe that uh, we trust women more than we do trust men. They are going to call you. I'm calling you from our Tambo airport and I have your parcel coming from UK. It's coming from Anderson, ho, ho, ho. And then you have to pay clearance fee of this amount of money. Now, you must tell me, why will somebody send you a parcel from the UK? putting in a stack of money in the account, why don't they just send that parcel already paid? And then they make you believe that it's not possible for them to prepay for that parcel. That's not true. I have received parcel from from as far as the Switzerland. And I have received parcel from uh, Germany before. 
and I have not paid a single cent. They make sure that those parcels are paid fully and you have nothing to pay for that parcel. You just receive the parcel and then you don't pay any cent. You just sign for it upon delivery. If somebody ever asks you that you have to pay for a parcel a percent from there, rather ask them to send it back to them and then they must, yeah, pay for it or resend it because what a loss. Why do you have, why must this rich guy that's living where we're sending you all these uh, pounds and, but he cannot, this guy cannot afford to pay for your parcel. You tell me. So yeah, that's what happened. And then some... I, I know of somebody that actually paid for a parcel once. I think that she was asked. They asked for more money and then you'll be like, no, I don't have that amount of money. And then they'll be like, no, you have to. Otherwise, your parcel will be sent back. They will give you a day, those scammers. Then they are waiting for you to think about it. You might even go to a point of going to borrow money because you know that you were told that there is cash in that uh, parcel and you can always change the money and go and pay back what you borrowed. Don't go to that point of going to borrow money from people so that you can be able to pay for a parcel it's a lie it does not exist so i know somebody that paid for a parcel they paid i think a two thousand rands for that parcel that's alleged that that's apparently supposed to be in alleged to be in south africa so they pay for that parcel at two thousand dollar and then a few days later you are you if you are in namibia you receive a call from namibia from a cell phone number or telephone a weird number yeah or from the same a South African number claiming that your parcel have arrived at um, Jose Akutako International Airport and you must pay how much money to be able to get hold of your parcel. <clears throat> okay, that's not true. So once, I just want to advise you guys that once you somebody claim to have sent you a parcel, you must not pay for that parcel. Ask that person to pay for that parcel and tell them you do not have money. Ne? You don't have money to pay for that parcel, so don't ever receive parcels that are not paid for, unless it is from somebody that you know. Otherwise, if you have to pay that money, you will never recover it. We are not about to lose money that we have worked hard for. We are not about to lose money that we do not even have. So yeah, you must just be very careful out there, because there is a lot of scammers there at work, and they will even contact you. It's a lot of scammer stories that I came across, and I just want to make this video longer. Some will claim that you have won a prize and for you to collect it, you must send them an OTP that's on your phone. Do not send OTPs and other stuff. If you have won something and it's supposed to be yours, it's meant to be yours, they, you will easily be able to claim it. Either go to directly to the office, but do not claim um, presents or prizes that you have won telephonically because those can be scammers especially when they require you to put money in to get something okay why don't they just deduct that money from the money that you have actually won you must think about things like that but yeah otherwise you must take care guys there's a lot of hungry lions out there so you need to be very 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 careful and uh, yeah be safe out there because the people from the other country with the flag they are busy busy they are at work and they are scamming people left right and center be blessed and don't forget to subscribe and like my videos have a beautiful day